How clean is the fish that you're eating at the moment? The University of the Western Cape has found that most fish caught by small-scale commercial fishermen are contaminated. It's found fish containing antibiotics, ARVs, disinfectants, painkillers and industrial chemicals. The research was conducted in Cock Bay in the Western Cape. The institution's Professor Leslie Petrick says the entire province's waters may be contaminated. She joins us from our Cape Town studio this morning. Prof, a very good morning to you and I think it'll be great if you could give us, uh, I suppose great and frightening also, if you could give us a little more detail as to the state of our, our sea life and, 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 and what you found in fish. Good morning, yes, I'm very happy to tell you about what we found. Um, we've been conducting a study around our coastline to see what the impact of the marine uh, outfalls and sewage effluents are on the marine environment. Um, we started this study because we actually did a study before that where we looked at the wastewater treatment plants uh, running on the peninsula and we found that these chemicals were present in the effluents and these effluents are being discharged into the marine environment. And so we did a study on uh, small benthic uh, creatures like mussels and sea urchins and we found these compounds in them along our coastline. And therefore we decided to look whether they are, these compounds are bioaccumulating up the food chain. And we did the study with the fish. Mm. Uh, we basically uh, found fish fr at Cork Bay Harbour at the commercial sales. Um, I'm not 100% sure where these fish come from but I'm pretty sure that they're from the False Bay area or down at the uh, Cape Point. Um, and we tested four types of fish and we found a huge diversity of compounds inside these fish, um, in their flesh, in their fillets, in their livers and in their gills. Um, and when we calculated the risk quotients, uh, the, risk, uh, the ecological risk was pretty high, um, which indicates that we have a real problem on our hands. The city keeps saying that we need to deal with acute toxicity, but acute toxicity means that we will have basically 50% uh, death, mm. lethal, lethal uh, toxicity. Mm. So I don't know if the city wants to wait until 50% of our fish population is dead. Mm. Um, we also don't know to what extent these toxins are affecting the fish, because remember the uh, risk quotients are worked out for um, uh, humans, not for fish, and we're yeah. a lot larger than many of the fish. So, uh, Prof, uh, you know, if people out there are wondering, okay, so this is in our fish, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll fry them, we'll grill them, we'll do whatever we need once they're cooked, it surely can't be harmful to us uh, it, it, once, once it's cooked. I mean, just the caution, the word of caution there, you know, you might think it doesn't affect you, but it, it probably will. Well, you know, you can't really say that cooking is going to destroy those chemicals because they're actually extremely hard to remove. So cooking is not, got, is not the solution. Um, we need to stop using mm. chemicals. We've got such a love affair with chemicals that we use chemicals in every part of our lives and we discard those chemicals without thought. But those chemicals are worse than plastic because they go right down to the cellular level in the body mm. and therefore they can uh, exert a physiological effect which plastic won't do. And, you know, you might as well go into a pharmacy and eat every last pill in the pharmacy. That's what we're doing to the fish mm. because all of us are using those compounds in our everyday life. Now, apart from what you say, it seems like industry um, seems to be the, the biggest culprit here, the um, industrial facilities that are close to uh, where we find this fish and, and, and the water sources. Uh, have, have you identified? No, no, no. No, I don't think you can say that. Is it not industry? Um, Is it not factories? It's, and it's, it's, it's all of us. Yeah. It's all of us. Uh, we test it specifically for pharmaceuticals mm. because pharmaceuticals are tackled, taken by humans and excreted through the digestive system. And basically those pharmaceuticals are going out into the sewage and our sewage treatment plants are not made to deal mm. with those compounds. Um, there are industrial chemicals coming through, but people are using those chemicals in their houses. Mm. Uh, for instance, we're finding a lot of perfluorinated compounds coming through and reporting into the fish fillets. Mm. And those are things uh, like compounds used for anti-stick coatings on your pans and for anti-stain coatings on your clothes and on your furniture. So we're finding those compounds coming through. They're also coming from uh, uh, firefighting foams. So 
there's a whole diverse amount of compounds that are coming yeah. into our bays and uh, the fish are swimming in the water they've got no option they can't get out of that mess and so they are taking those compounds in on a daily basis. So this also brings to, um, to question just water quality in general and is this water that, that people are, 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 are drinking directly as well? Well, you know, the thing is we're taking the water out and desalinating it and, and putting it back into our potable water supplies. Now that is one thing. The, the city reckons that the effluents are being diluted sufficiently for them to be uh, minuscule and therefore when you take it back through the desalination plant it will not report into our potable water mm -hmm. but those fish are like canaries in the mine um, we have to be careful because at the moment there's a lot of talk about reuse of sewage direct reuse of sewage for potable water and that won't be diluted by the sea it will come directly from the sewage effluent plant and if we don't know how to treat our effluents properly, these things will biomagnify in humans as well. Mm. So, you know, you're not just getting this from the fish. Mm. Okay, well, it's very scary indeed. Thank you very much uh, for that. And that's uh, Professor Leslie Petrick from the University.